first time I met Leslie was about 26 years ago. She was working at Fr Franklin Templeton as a financial advisor, and she was an absolute doll. And we just, you know, from that point on, uh, I liked her, she liked me, it just clicked. It was by accident that she started writing. She started uh, writing a blog, and then from that, uh, it, she did a little short newspaper kind of thing, and then she started writing with Martin Press. It was this much larger than life figure who filled the room when she came in with her presence. She's the very first person who ever applied to our graduate program, already had a published novel. And Temple supplied her with the everyday tools that she wanted uh, for her MFA, and Temple became home for her. Here's what she said to me. I didn't know anything about deadlines. I didn't know anything how much you're supposed to write during the day. I just sat down and I just started writing. And that's how she got into it. She just started writing it. From that day on, and she's just been this prolific writer. Ghost stories. She writes werewolves. She writes about vampires. She writes about murder mysteries. She writes about crime dramas. And all of her characters are based on real life people that she's known. Fresh, hip, and fantastic. L.A. Banks writes a killer vamp series. Watch out world, Damali is on the prowl. There are basically two kinds of filmmakers. There are the kind who can tell you everything you need to know about a camera. And then there's the kind of filmmaker who can take a project from conception to distribution, working with a whole array of people, a team builder, a leader. And Leslie was very much that kind of filmmaker. I think she is to be uh, thought of as one of uh, Philadelphia's finest writers. And that's why she couldn't continue to put off her dreams for tomorrow. She would follow through with this one. Nothing could stand in her way. You just never knew how much time you had, and you couldn't take the gift of life for granted.